My name is Martin Wojcik. I'm here with my wonderful wife, Devi, <laughs> and with, with our little rover, a, an interactive gesture-controlled mobile robot. That is, um, I, want to, I want to give a short introduction about robotics and then come to rover and how it is actually a self-driving car. So most of us know robotics from industrial manufacturing, basically dumb robot arms that are just doing repetitive, the same, repetitively the same tasks. Then during my, during my PhD thesis, I worked on an autonomous mobile lab robot. You can see, you can see that, mobile, that mobile robot was driving through the lab, taking samples, uh, going around to a microscope, counting cells there, diluting the samples, and it was a very expensive, a very expensive platform, half a million dollar, and we developed a lot of software for, which is now not accessible to the public, unfortunately, because this is a very expensive platform, and was half a million dollar, I think, and so the goal, how, the goal of Rover and how Rover came to be was basically to use all the advanced robotics algorithms out of a research lab and put it in cheap off-the-shelf hardware. Yeah? And what we, what we can see here now on display is basically a laptop on wheels. The wheels, <laughs> the wheels as, as a mobile Lego Mindstorm set, I can... Here we, here we see the Lego Mindstorms controller on the bottom. And then under this cloth is a camera which I will put to use very quickly. And I'm going back to my slides. So can everybody hear me okay? Or it is, yeah? Okay. And so the goal of this project was to bring advanced robotics algorithms into, into everybody's home and to make it accessible to everybody who can afford a Lego Mindstorm set and everybody who has a laptop at home. Yeah? And what makes a robot smart or what do you need for a self-driving car? A robot actually needs to be um, able to localize itself within an unknown environment. That is what Google does with the self-driving cars. They have GPS sensors, they have LIDARs, they have laser rangefinders, and they take all the data collected and then um, and then put it, filter it into, into, into a motion vector to go left, to go right, to go forward or to brake. And that is the same that we're doing on, on this mobile platform. Um, so over here on this plate, I'm just showing how the robot is using a depth sensor to get, to get mapping information of, this is our apartment at home, and then it creates a map of its environment and the robot is able to localize itself in that environment. Yeah? And, and then, so, so basically the robot knows right now, I'm in the, right now I'm in the bedroom, it's Sunday morning and I want a coffee. I tell the robot, please get me a coffee. And the robot knows where it is. It is in the living room or in the bedroom and it knows, a, and it can plan based on the map, a collision-free path to the kitchen, to the coffee maker, and when it has arms, it can actually get you a coffee too. <laughs> so, and um, now I would like to give a short demo of the interactivity and what the robot does. And I, th I think we, everybody will actually be able to see it just like that. Um, do we have do we have audio on the? Okay, so. So this is a, the simple interactive user interface. And when I, when I remove the napkin from, from the robot's camera, it will recognize me in front, of the, in front of the robot. It will wake up, open its eyes, and it will greet me, hopefully. <laughs> Let's see if everything works out. So I'm removing the napkin, and, and I hope you can see the display. Um, OK, never mind. So, Hello, I am Rover. So the robot said, hello, I'm, it opened its eyes and greeted me. And then just for fun interaction purposes, we implemented some simple gestures 
so you can so you can make the robot happy or sad. You show it a thumbs down gesture and it's a sad robot. You show it a thumbs up ro gesture and it's a happy robot. Let's go. Well, kids in particular have a lot of fun with that at our stand. <laughs> okay, let's, let's be happy go. again. The robot can also tell jokes if you show it high five. I would totally high five you if I had arms. I would totally high five you if I had arms. And so on it goes. And okay, now I Hello. would like. I am over. Okay. <laughs> and. Hi. Okay, let, now I would like to try to get this on display. So what the... Hello. These, these are, these, these are the two, these are the two camera views. We, we basically have Hello, a, I am Rover. We have a simple, we have a simple RGB sensor, which, with which we can do face detection and, and figure out if somebody is looking at the camera. And then there is also a depth sensor, which you might be able to see, which gives me distance information. And How this many robots does it take to change a light bulb? It depends. Does the robot have arms? Okay. And I think I unplug now because it will just go. <laughs> um, so, so, so what I wanted to, to demonstrate is actually that you can build a robot which is capable of localizing itself in a, in a novel, unknown environment. And uh, you, you can do that based on really cheap hardware, just like a Lego Mindstorm set and a 3D camera. And, and you, you can have fun with it. You can program some, some interactive gestures to, for kids to play with it. And the robot can go autonomously I think it will be, I think it would be tough on this um, on this surface here because the wheels are not that big. But I can show a short video of what it looks like for the robot. So here on here on display, we will see how the robot drives through our apartment and how the robot will see it through its 3D camera to avoid to avoid obstacles. Here it notices there's there's something in the way and it will turn away. There is a bookshelf. And this is really how the robot perceives its 3D environment. Basically, it's all distance information that the robot can see. And then based on Based on algorithms, you can create a map of its environment that the, robot, that the robot can understand. And then, um, okay, what? and then what we had in mind for Maker Fair is if you want to build your own robot, we give away the open source instructions. If you visit our website, cubotics.com, I just show the browser window quickly. It will look, it will look something like this, Rover, Rover at Maker Faire. And there is a link which you can, where you can take a short one-page survey. It really just, or it, and, and if you leave your email address at the bottom, we will send you the Lego digital designer files. And then you will get Okay, this is a little bit displaced. Then you will get basically the Lego CAD model of how to build your own rover. And yeah, that was that was basically it. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>